Hey folks, Sean here once again, the latest edition of Beer Snowy Goodness. On this edition, I'm going to be staying um, reasonably local to southeast Pennsylvania. These guys are actually um, located in Delmore, Delaware, or Delmore, Maryland. Still can't keep that straight, but anyway. This is Third Wave Brewing, which is located in Delmore. This is part of their Big Barrel series. This is, um, da -da -da -da. Dawn Patrol, which I did, believe it or not, actually read before starting the review. I think I need to start doing these things more than once a week in order to keep from losing my uh, organizational skills, if you will. Anyway, good inky black color on that. Pretty foamy head, which is going to take a minute to settle down while it's doing that. I do have the uh, the website up with the metrics. I haven't completely lost my touch here. Let's see, alcohol by volume, uh, 6.8 to 7.1 percent. IBU rating between 50 and 53. Official classification is a stout. This was um, I got this from the bottle before I started. This was aged in Jack Daniel whiskey for a three-month period. So. Uh, they do have this as a base beer, according to the website. This is just part of their Big Barrel series. Um, describes a good chunk of coffee flavor, hint of sweetness. Apparently the uh, coffee used was cold steeped in order to deal with the bitterness that is inherent with coffee. So, taking the aroma. Definitely a sweet note. Point of the website, lactose sugar is the uh, the source potentially of that. Not picking up a ton of the coffee, so I'm gonna guess that's the cold steep effect. Maybe a hint of the whiskey aging. Anyway, gonna dive in. Cheers. Whoa. It's a good whoa. Tell you, I can pick up a little bit of the coffee. I mean, there's really, there's like a pleasant nip which I'm going to um, attribute to the whiskey aging. No bitter note whatsoever. It's, um, it's actually pretty smooth on the back end. Light bit of roasted character. Hint of sweetness, but not too sweet. It's um, so far quite pleasant to drink. In fact, this one you could definitely get in a little bit of trouble if you uh, imbibed too quickly. So... There's a, not a whole lot of the um, coffee note though. I mean there's definitely a very creamy mouthfeel to this. But I mean even without the coffee flavor I am enjoying this quite a bit. Be interesting to see what I get as the uh, beer warms up a little. So, catch you in a bit. I gotta say, this one, uh, I think I need to get down to Delmar to check out more of the third wave uh, lineup. Um, very good flavor throughout. Uh, I'm not really, even though I'm not picking up a whole lot of the coffee flavor, uh, definitely strong in the lactose and sweet character. So you, you've definitely got that milk stout quality about it. Uh, the whiskey note is definitely there, but not overpowering. It's just pretty well balanced. Sweet but not too sweet. Hint of roasted character. Got your uh, your touch of whiskey in there. Ultimately, good stuff. I mean, it's yeah, big bottle though. I, I got to find sidekicks for these things because they kind of kick my ass towards the end. Um. Only other thing I'll, I'll put a footnote on, I did say the website 
mentioned um, 6.8 to 7.1 alcohol by volume. Uh, the bottle itself says 7.1, so we're just going to go with 7.1, especially since it does make you uh, a little comfortably numb, as they say in the Pink Floyd vernacular, uh, towards the end. So, so yeah, these guys, um, Third Wave Brewing, one more time, this is part of their uh, Big Barrel series. Good stuff. If you ever get down to southern Delaware, you know, northern panhandle of Maryland, I'd say give it a go. Worth a look. I need to get down there myself. So, until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.